Welcome to another video. This is gonna be a shorty on uh, residential tapered insulation. So, uh, oh, by the way, this is Tim Kanak with Perkins Roofing. So you can see here, this is a flat roof. This whole thing's a flat roof, except the front area of this home is a one on 12 slope. So this is built in with pre-slope. And uh, I tested this roof and I noticed, okay, there's no insulation, but the backside I didn't test. This is on me. This is why you have to core test every single deck. Uh, because we found out later that the back roof used to have insulation on it. So you can see here, there's no insulation on this. And this area did have ponding water because the trusses had termite damage and they were sagging. So we had to rebuild the trusses. Uh, and basically what we did was we sistered the trusses into the existing ones and ran, uh, struck lines and ran levels to make sure that we could level out the new trusses. So the new trusses are a little bit higher as we sistered them in against the old ones in certain areas to eliminate the sag. And you can see now on this roof, there's no sagging. Everything is nice and smooth. And we tested everything out with levels. Now on this back roof here where we're doing the tapered insulation, this is a wood deck. Uh, I didn't core it, so I didn't know that there was tapered insulation until we did it because I only had tested over here. And you could also actually see the wood from underneath. It's open beam. Uh, so over here, but right here on the back side, we're adding this tapered insulation because there was about two inches of ponding water back here once we put this SAV down. So we're like, oh, looks like we're gonna have to add back the tapered that we had taken out. So we're adding back this tapered insulation right now. Uh, before, it was pretty flat. We're adding at quarter inch slope to create the slope. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And you can see that we're doing screw and plate method. And some of my other videos on the commercial projects, those commercial decks are generally gonna be concrete decks. With concrete decks, when you install tapered insulation, you're gonna use Ollie Bond or, or low rise foam. There's Ollie Bond, there's Polyglass has their own. Basically, and, and Ollie Bond is JF. So basically there's a number of them out there. Ollie Bond is the most common. Uh, there is uh, quite a few of them. But you can see here, CR20, there's another one. But you see here that we are using screws and plates. So when you have a metal deck or a wood deck, you wanna use screws and plates when you're installing the insulation panels. And you can see our different layers here following the taper design all the way down. Like I said, there's gonna be a quick video. I'll show you what some of these details look like as we install, and then that'll be it. You can see the slope getting added here. Charlie, where's your tape? You got a tape? Just so you can see the depth here. Of the depth that we're adding from the back. And you can see there's definite slope because, and this is why I wanted to use quarter inch slope instead of eighth inch slope, because if we had used eighth inch slope, it might have only leveled everything out. So you can see we've got five and a half inches of ISO here on the back end and it's sloping to the edges. So if we had only used eighth inch slope, then it's very possible it would have only evened the roof out. We would have like a level roof instead of a positive drainage roof. So now that all this is gonna push the water off the roof. So you can see behind me, we've got our cuts here as we struck a line all the way to the corner. That's so that you cut all the pieces the right way because it's not just, oh, automatically halfway down each piece. You have to build the puzzle piece out. So they basically, they give you the design from ABC when you do your taper, uh, when you do your takeoff for this, they give you a design and you follow the puzzle pieces. But you can see here, this is not straight down the middle. You're not just cutting them in half. You follow the line of the roof and you can see our chalk line here. So you follow the exact roof to get the slope you want. And this is with a quarter inch slope. So you can see, this is what the insulation plates look like. They have little kind of like spikes in them on the other side that are gonna attach down into the insulation with the screws and your length of screw is gonna depend on the depth of the insulation. So you can see back here, when we have multiple layers, we're five and a half inches, that means that we're gonna need longer than five and a half inch screws because we have to catch into the wood. So you're gonna be using six inch screws to catch down into the wood. And then as you go from the end where you you're high, have your highest, you're gonna be using longer screws and then you're gonna use shorter and sc shorter screws as you go down to the end of the tapered insulation. So you need 
various sizes of screws to go with these plates as you install the insulation board. So you can see like the bottom insulation layer here tapers all the way down to half an inch and it gets us to the eave here where the water is going to run off the, the edge of this roof. So that's the design of this particular roof here. Here's a good look at the plates. You can see the little spikies that grab into the insulation to help hold it down. I'm sure spiky is not technical. <laughs> and then here's the screw. This is like a six inch screw it looks like just holding it. This is just down. So right now we're just getting the pattern out and tacking these down. We're not installing per the engineer specs of how many screws we need to be putting in for each board. Just tack them down. I hope you enjoyed this short little video here on tapered insulation on a residential roof. If you're interested in our roofing services, please give us a call for Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys at 305-MIA Roof for Port St. Lucie, for Martin County, for Fort Pierce and Palm Beach County. Give us a call at 561-559-ROOF for Perkins Roofing, Perkins Construction, Perkins Franchise. Hit me at franchise at perkinsroofing.net if you're interested in your own roofing operation somewhere in the state of Florida or elsewhere. I have someone interested in Missouri. I have someone interested in one of the Carolinas, North Carolina. So we'll see. Uh, but right now, looking at Florida. But anyway, if you're interested, give us a call. Give us an email. And thanks for watching. Uh, peace out. See you next time.